and we're back. Today on the channel, we're servicing this. There's a temperature sensor to go in, new white to go on, full set of plugs, full set of plug leads. Let's get into it. For those who don't already know, this is a 96 SN95 Ford Mustang. It's a 3.8 V6. Hopefully you can see this, just simply in case of lining that up, pulling back, making sure this arm, the blade is over the side of that, and then just pull down on that and the whole thing comes off and then you can just slide it forward and put the replacement one on okay so as you can hopefully see that camera in the right place it's literally just a push fit till it clicks turn the wipe around and obviously it'll come with this protective cover on so I'll just peel that off it just slides off the side changed for new ones so with these little clips as you can see it's easy to get the camera on this one if you just push on that bit it releases it so what we'll do is go in there push on the side take that straight off hook it over there and it's this little guy that wants to come out so we'll try and do this single-handed with the camera Should be able to get that out by hand now. There we go. Right. That looks a bit gummed up. We'll get that cleaned up and then we'll get the new one in. Right, that's all that cleaned up. And as it looks, hopefully the camera will pick up when it looks a bit better in there now. So I'll put them there to take off. So we'll get this new felt in. Let's see if we can get that to go in there. This is brass going into brass, so obviously you don't tighten it too much because we don't want to strip anything out. That seems tight enough there. So it's simply a case of reattaching that. Listen for the click. Oh yeah. So moving on, we're gonna have a go at the sparkulators on the Mustang today. I've already bought these, which are I'll get out the sunlight so you can see them, which are premium flavour. So they should come on. They also come with dielectric digital di uh, grease to go on the tips there as they go into the sparkulators and the lightning whirler. So we'll get these changed. Now the downside to doing it on an SN95 that's a V6, if you can see in here, there's a plug all the way down there that you can't really see because of the light. But it's right under the booster for the brakes, which is perfect. It's ideal really. So that's going to be interesting to get in there. So I'll just get you set up so you can uh, you can get in here and try and see what I'm doing with the plugs, and we'll go from there. Right. So the one at the back, I'm not sure if you're all going to be able to get in with the camera to see exactly what I'm doing down there because of the way the light is. If I just try, can you can you see all the way down there? Let me just have a look. It's just here. That one. That one there. That's the boot for it. So I'm going to take the boot off. Now it might be a bit difficult to get the camera in as well as me. Let's get this boot off. Right, so that's the boot off. Now I'm having to use a shorty because the normal length one won't go in. So let's have all the fun of getting this hooked up and getting it on there. Which is perfect when you've got no light. Oh, we're on. Let's see. What's that and of course, I've left the rest of the plug leads attached. Because at the moment, I'm not good enough to just unplug every single plug lead and then put the right ones on, in the, put the new ones on in the right order. How far into these plugs go? Oh, that 
might be it. Yes. Now, as you can see from here, the end of that is that nice tan colour. It's all dry, no oil on it. So these plugs are actually in really good condition other than the fact that they're a bit old. But at least we know the engine is running really well. So I'll just get a new plug for it. Can I just point out here? Yeah. They've got the numbers on. Do you know, camera people can be sacked. <laughs> That will get edited out. So get edited out. <laughs> yes, I know you're all sniggering as you're watching now. But at the time of looking, I didn't realise they had the numbers on them. And there's one of the new plugs going in, all nice and shiny and new. Well, the fun part is actually going to be getting it in the hole. I think I might have found the hole. Right. Yep. Actually found this is so awkward. Right, we'll leave that plugs in. Honestly, folks, you wouldn't believe how awkward and uncomfortable that. Appreciate you might not be able to see an awful lot going on down there. Smidge. Of course, once it's in, you can see exactly where it is. with That's all some kind of dielectric grease that has been put in one of them, hasn't been put in both ends. The old way of doing it is to just find a boot that's exactly the same size as the one you've took off, which is not that one. It might be this one. A little bit of grease in there. And I'll put a little bit in there as well. It's just a case of putting the boot on. Don't 
do appreciate you might not be able to see this booth going on. Right, hopefully you heard that click as it went into place. And then this one come round here. Helps if it's straight. Well, this is interesting. That's that one in. I wonder what David Freiburg is doing at the minute. I bet he doesn't have this problem. He probably just take the engine out and do it that way. Right, that's another one out. And again, lovely tan colour at the end. This engine, while we're doing this, this engine has got just over 151,000 miles on it and according to the condition of the spark plugs it's running really well well that's the first on the hole straight away no that's it let's get in the socket wrench on to get this tightened might be a That's the second one done. The first easy one to get to. That's it. And because of the way the sunlight is at the moment, I do apologise if you can't see everything that's going on here. I'm trying to get the camera in so you can get the best view for what's going on. If you're watching this and you enjoy watching this kind of content, you probably already know how to change a spark plug. I just thought I'd show it for anybody who's not sure on changing a spark plug. And once again, you can see on that one, it's that lovely tan colour on the end. Doing really well. That's three of the six out. And they all look really good. mentioned this previously I think I mentioned it earlier on the video but this has developed a misfire now it could have something to do with that I'm slightly afraid so that might be one of the reasons for the misfire but hopefully when this is all back together 
that'll uh, help cure any potential misfire that it has. So to get this off, a bit of a crack on there I don't want to try and rip that or make that any worse disconnecting anything else that should stay there and I can get into those three spark plugs so that's all spark plugs changed the pipes back on it's fairly easy to get back on now it's all back together let's go and see if it starts That's that done. I did notice. You can hear me over the top of the engine. I did notice around here there's a split in that rubber gator. I can get another one, but at the moment it's not leaking. Right. Well that's all done. If you're wondering why I didn't mention any oil, that's because I have an oil filler but I don't actually have any oil going at the minute so that's going to be the next job. Go out and get some oil and then we can drop the oil, change the oil filler, put the new oil in and that will be the car fully serviced. That's everything done. So if you've enjoyed this give us a like, leave a comment below and uh, so help support the channel. If you want any stickers, I have stickers available, I'll leave a link in the description below as to how you can get yourself a sticker. I'm going to call uh, that a video there. See you next time. Bye for now.